gents, on to the Vadastad stand here at uh, the Lama Show. I'm joined by, once again, we've seen him before, it is Mr. Andrew Gamble from the manufacturer. Now, we're going to do something a little bit different here. Rather than focus on one particular product, Andrew is going to give us a whistle-stop whistle tour of the stand, which is quite a big stand, by the way. So, yeah. you've got five minutes. Come on, it's five like minutes, Challenge Annika, right. isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. So, first, we'll start here. Come first on. machine, the Extract V. Um, you can extract V or extract L. The V is the six or nine meter. L just goes up to twelve meter. Um, L for few, few large, large, <laughs> long. Yeah. V vertical fold. This has got a built-in side shift. It's got an extremely high frame height of eight hundred mil. Yeah. Um, so that gives good clearance. So it allows us to weed for longer. Yeah, that's um, it. Yeah, yeah. Camera system, three D camera system working from the cab automatic steering. So that's talking to the side yep. shift there on the that's headstock, correct. you might say. Multiple choice of different um, time spaces, but we we're mainly focusing on the two fifty or two two five to seven fifty spacing at the moment. Right. Potentially grow further in the future. I'm gonna say so what sort of crops will that cover? Um, I think any I mean we're looking at the direct drill intro weeding yeah. and moving probably into maize weeding okay um, and so on in the future I mean it's a, everyone's gone into weeding it's a very early stage in the market There's yeah, no yeah. big yet. market though isn't it but if the laws start coming in and reduce chemicals this is going to be one of the coming to its own isn't it yeah. and I see it's the kind of the, the weeding units you might say are they on rails can you side shift them or what's that yeah it's, that? it's yeah. designed that you can set your space in when, yeah. you, when you want to when you're different crops but you wouldn't do it it's not it's mechanical for that yeah um, so you just set all these up to what you want to do. You can have um, sideboards on stock soil going over small plants. Yeah. If you've got high stem plants like maize, you can allow soil to throw in between the maize because it sort of covers the weeds right. and kills them that way. Yeah, so smaller them. Loads of different alternatives. A lot of learning curve for us as well because it's our first year. Yeah. So um, a lot of demonstrations, a lot of um, trials for ourselves and um, yeah. customers. But you see you've got the big L version, is that split L. into sections that, that or? That's designed to run as two six metre machines. So right, so they can sort of floor. So they have a camera on each. So right. Because normally you follow a weeder follows the same width drill because yeah. you don't want any deviation of joint. But if, a six, if it's a six row drill, that could have if you veered a, off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so if you have two six row drills, this one can steer for that drill and then steer for that drill on the other side on a trail. Right. So that would be quite interesting when that comes. That will probably be a, another year. Yeah. But, um, Clever. So, well, I think we had a little preview of it at Agritechnica. Uh, Agritechnica and we went to Austria. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Spot on. Right. We shall move on. So, so into one. some precision seeding. Yes, um, obviously everyone's familiar with the Tempo V uh, this one is, yep. the Tempo range. Slight difference with this one, it's moving up the next level in electronics. This has got workstation 10 on. Right. What that means is every unit has got a workstation on and you can buy the option, pay for the option to individually control the ground pressure of each row unit. So if you've got undulating land or very deep ruts in your field, each unit can control its own pressure to maintain the accuracy of the depth. Right. Uh, at the moment, a standard machine, you can have spring-loaded pressure to do it, or a standard fixed hydraulic pressure for all units. Yeah. But in certain situations, you might find that you know, one needs to go down deeper, and so you can have individual pressure. And it'll work that out, will yeah, it? Yeah, it worked it out with load sensing. Right. And it's like if, right, there's a bit of a rut there. Yeah. This unit this here, for example, down, loses it's, its pressure. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, crash. Yeah. Where's it gone? And so then it'll find it. it down a bit right. More, yeah. And then this one, because it's got the electronics on, it's got automatic um, singulation. Yeah. So you don't need to calibrate. You just preset it to a rough position within the first few yards. It'll work out if there's any doubles or skips and it'll just set itself. So right. it just sorts itself out yeah. all the way down the field. That's what we want, isn't it? It's also got curve compensation on. So when you go around on corners, the outside spacing is the same Starts as inside putting a bit spacing. More. Yep, yeah. so it pulls this down. slows down if this is on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's a lot of new features. It's, they are all optional features. You can yeah. still buy the basic tempo. And all these options that we just talked about, you know, all this fancy, clever, you know, pressure yeah, compensation. Can you get that on your trail machines yet, or uh, trail versions of this? You or? will be able to. You will at be. the moment, it's on we're the, focusing on the Vs. Yeah, right, because, uh, the Vs being the mounted ones. Vs being the mounted yeah. ones, yeah. Spot on, yeah. right. Should we continue, Next Andrew? one, yeah. Chris, all right there, yeah? He's still going. He's still going, right. Now, this one's quite, Top down, you the legendary need, top down, legendary you might say. So, who would I be doing? Right, so. Um, so, what have you done to it? We've added e services. E services. That's not somewhere from Yorkshire, is it? E services. Here's the Yorkshireman <laughs> <in> there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bloody 
<laughs> He's got services on it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, go on. So, what's the so what's the services? No, yeah, get rid of that. Come on. This allows you to vary your depth on the move, either by map or by yourself. So on the um, box. You want this? This one. Oh, this one. Oh, here we go. On the box, you've got um, settings to control your front disc, your tines, your levelers, and your packer. All, all the elements. So you can change the pressure right. on your packer on the move. But you can also set a map to do that for you. Right. If you ever change it on the move from your map, if you think, oh no, that's wrong, I want to Not put quite it right, yeah, give it a tweak. It will change that map. And the advantage of doing all this is it also records that data. And having recorded data also helps you when you want to have to um, prove that you've saved diesel for maybe the SFIs. Oh, okay. Um, so you could use that data to prove as um, a report. When you alter your times, obviously normally we used to have spaces in the legs mm. and so you'd have to go out and alter that, but then you'd have to set your disc height. Yeah. This one, if you just change one element, for example, the time depth, the disc will compensate and keep maintaining its own depth, so the disc will probably go right, up. So your Levelers will change. Yeah, you alter one, it's not going to affect it's, the it's other one. It's going to change all the others to the right position right. you had before. So yeah, uh, you've got four presets, so you could actually just set one as a headland position that you want it a bit deeper, tram line position, main field light soil, main field heavy soil. Yeah. You can do what you like with four presets. So cool. I think this is going to be quite revolutionary yeah. into the cultivation sector. Is this what they're after? Yes, yeah, so, yeah. so and uh, I think obviously if you've got to start reporting data, it's going to be even more important. Absolutely, yeah. definitely. Let's put that right. there. Leave that, leave that there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be gone in a minute. <laughs> For somebody. <laughs> Right, we should move yeah, on. we've seen this, I don't know how many times. I've seen it a few <laughs> times, but... Uh, this is the final one. This is the one for uh, launch. It's let's launch. try and get a better spot yeah. somewhere. Um, we'll probably go the other side. Yeah, we'll go the other side. To see. Here we go. <laughs> so, so, proceed. proceed. Where are we up to with Proceed We're up to, then? Up to now launch order from October this year. Right. So finally ready to go, all tried and tested. Been proven really well, good results. I mean, the main feature is that we're going to be able to drill corn, well, all seeds really, corn, yeah. beet, maize. Um, we want to focus on corn because obviously we've got a maize drill. Yeah. So if you're doing maize, buy a tempo. But if you, <laughs> if you, if you, <laughs> you don't want to take sales off yourself, <laughs> do you? Yeah, you don't want to take sales. So really want to focus on doing the bit of the corn, maybe the peas. But what we're going to be able to do is precisionly place corn yeah. in a row, 250 spacing. We can reduce the seed rates because what we're going to do is place them individually, um, consolidate them in the ground before we cover them, so we guarantee our establishment, Yeah. which is what a lot of people struggle with, is that they need the establishment all in one go to control weed, because mm. if you direct drilling, weed control is important, isn't it? Definitely, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, so again, we could have a front hopper to do fertiliser application with it. Um, obviously all seeds, all types are direct right through to ploughing. Yeah. We still always believe in getting the right seed bed for the I'm seed. Say, yeah. I'm not going to say you can put it in concrete and it's going to grow. Obviously, yeah. no, you can say that. But it can direct drill if you want to because you can get 350 kilos of pressure on each view yeah. if you want to hydraulically. Um, yeah, so it's out. We're going to probably be doing five or six main demo farm areas to do field demos to allow people to come in because we've got so many people want to see it. We can't do them all. I bet, so we're going to pick zones. Put and us the, down as well. But the, main, yeah, the, the, main, the main thing is that we want them to see it growing, not just yes. drilling. So we want the, the farm proof in the pudding, not really. Is going to obviously accept doing it. Will allow the customers to yeah. see it through the year. But yeah, looking forward to this one. Yeah, like I said before, you know, it's all this was proven before oh, you yeah, kind of yeah, got to is, the proceed. You know, a lot of this central is, field tempo, two rows. Yeah. Um, just a nice frame to put it on. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Spot on, right? Yeah. I'm sure there was a bit more engineering in it yeah. than that. <laughs> and to save time, we'll skip the two. I'm going to say, I've passed a couple of we'll just, more yeah. legends. Yeah, I mean, Rapid is never going to go because there's still a massive market for Rapid. Yeah. It's still a direct drill. Um, we can do cross cut, uh, not cross cut, sorry, we can do um, system disc aggressive, which is like a carrier frame or yeah. a standard system disc. We can now go to three row of coulters so you can do through more trash because yeah. um, we don't need a cross board nowadays because there's no day plowing. So a lot of good key features, a lot of people going back to it again. You right. Know, from, you know, yeah. Just saying it was never as good to be rapid and they're all buying the rapids again. <laughs> so we get a lot of people now as smaller farmers looking for good second hands yeah. if anyone's finding them. So That's it, those, those yeah. four metres. Four, six, yeah. I mean, even eight people are coming back. To yeah. We've had so many inquiries for eight metres today. So that's, that's very it. good. She's still got it. She's still got it. Spirit, obviously, we're always... A lot of focus of spirit is in Scotland because they like the grain and fertiliser. Yeah. They love this um, cold system. 
And now we can do inline fertilizers as well, which is a key thing for Scotland. They now want the fertilizer as close to seed as possible. Right. I think because the rates have gone down so low, they don't worry about seed burn as much. Yeah. So they all want inline, so we can do inline, but we can also incorporate it in the front disc if we want to. Um, so the, another popular machine, Scotland mainly because of the soil types they like, yeah. with the lighter soil, because we do pre-consolidation with the front wheels here before we drill, whereas Rapid is more likes the heavier soil because we're cutting in. Yeah. That's it. And the, the big Smashing. one, which we're not going to be able to get until possibly we can order from October. Seed Hawk. Seed Hawk. Seed, seed Hawk. It's got a H. Hawk. Yeah. Seed Hawk. <laughs> seed Hawk. <laughs> seed Hawk. <laughs> um, people know it from the past. A lot of changes since the last one. We've got three tank systems now, so we can do 7,000 litre capacity. You can put whatever you like in fertilizer, two seed, all seed. It's got the Phoenix 3, so you just decide where it goes. Yeah. Um, the new feature, though, is this central disc here, which we believe will help because the seed also always had to go slow because you get too much soil thrown. Yeah, it was just Even going... it's a narrow point. Yeah, big boil The on. disc will obviously help cut that open so it yeah. just cuts through. But this is the whole concept. Direct drilling, straight in the ground. Seed sitting just above the um, fertiliser, hence the two coulters on the system here. And it places so it reaches for the fertiliser. Creates a microclimate as well, so... Yeah. And you can, if you're clever enough, you can actually drill between the last the previous right. straws double, if you leave double eye. They that's do that it, in Canada yeah. to stop um, evaporation loss because they struggle with rain, of course. That's it, yeah, yeah. So that's why it's a Canadian system, but there's a massive call for this over here. Yeah. We've already, we've already spoke to quite so a lot of So a European farmers. spec version. Yeah, this is the European. It'll go from um, six to nine metres. <laughs> Just looking at the border. Yeah. <laughs> six to nine metres, 250 row spacing. Yeah, and um, yeah, we're a stunning built machine. Well built. This. I bet. Cracking, right. Yeah, so that's it. So that's to come. Uh, and, and then what done, else? What you got over here? The two final ones. We've got yeah. the Coltus HD. We did do this last year, but this is probably um, this is production year now, so we can right. sell these as normal. So you can order this now. These are in stock yeah. for dealers now. Right. So the Coltus HD allows us to dynamic control the levelers. So when the if you change the depth, you used to have to manually hydraulic adjust the levelers That's or right, space yeah. to wind them up. Now, when you adjust the depth, this dynamic control lever controls the depth. The main thing though, the HD actually is time. We've increased these time capacity up to 600 plus kilos. Trip, yeah. I'll go with plus. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot lower on the Coltus, standard Coltus. These are top down trip pressures now. Right. Because the problem when we had the three meter, strong enough to pull through the ground, but they were tripping too much because they were too deep. Yeah. So you always have to go to 250 space depth. Now you can put these in top down depth and they won't trip. Right. You can rip the soil. You can bury it. Do your job. And they're very popular looking for the areas like Cornwall because they need to have folding machines to get in gateways. Yeah. Um, so quite surprised the market demand on this. Is it? Yeah, we you know it's a great tool. Yeah. And then the Carry XT we launched um, last year as well, which is the new well will be the newest carrier to our range up yeah. to six meters. We still do in the classic carrier, but this one was designed so we could put the double roller on any front tool option three disc options you can see cross cutter 450 470 discs vertical folding so easy for transport but the other big advantage is than the old carriage you have to reverse back on the roller and you can right, yeah. now you can just jack them up going corners lots of different things that used to be a bit of a niggle with the old carriage yeah that's so, it it's just a really good evolution a double ram on each wing yeah. stops any bounce you right. can have X-pattern or V-pattern discs, so if you're GPS and you need X-pattern, stop it crabbing. Yeah. Um, and so on, so, yeah. Spot on. I think that's enough for you, isn't it? Love Five it. Minutes. That was good, that. <laughs> that was good, that. I think yeah. we might have went over a bit, but yeah. no, absolutely spot on. Andy, as ever, yeah. thank you very much no, for that. Perfect. Too.